Oh, just call me Mario of Arabia? No, that'd be silly. All right, there's the enemy up there. All he does is stay in that corner and look menacingly at you. Not exactly the most threatening guy in the world, am I right? And I think maybe we could fly up there and kill him, but, uh, I forgot about this part. <laughs> Whoops. Let's go. Oh, hello, Mr. Turtle. And this thing, you basically just want to fly over and wait for this guy to come down here and just walk into him with a shell. And if you don't kill him, he's just going to bombard you continually doing that looping flying pattern and then coming on down to attack us. Really? Not the most threatening dude. That is for sure. And instead, we're just going to kill a couple of them. And he doesn't come back, by the way. So killing him once is awesome. See? That's what happens if you don't do that jump right at all. You end up getting nothing. That was an amazingly accurate jump. I swear to God they made that level just as a tech demo for the, uh, the sun. The angry sun, as the fans love to call him. There's some hilarious fan art around that guy. And, of course, no doubt some disgusting fan art. Wow, I am picking up the leaves like crazy! Leaves, I guess, but leaves. Let's go to 2-4. We can fly. Hey, no one said you were allowed here. What am I doing? I don't need to go that way. Because we can go this way and skip the whole level. And this is the way you want to go, trust me. I've always kind of considered this the, like non, um, the non-cloud version of Coin Heaven. Which one is, uh, I can never remember which brick it is. There we go. So if you hit the right one, I think it's third or fourth from the, uh, opening. Going right. This was very poorly done. Oh well. Let's get ourselves some coinage. Coinage is good. And you see, there's the, the trees from the map. I love those trees, man. They're awesome. And you want to fly through this chunk. If you do this right, it's hilariously good. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Go kill your brother. Alright, good. So as you can see, this area is just a few enemies and just a ton of coins. It's awesome. And we're going to leave all these coins intact because we wanted to go this way. If you jump very carefully, you can actually do this so you have a walkway to get every single coin. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck trying to do it without. And look at that. I actually jumped right to get that too. Bonus. And when you get to the end, it helps if you actually take a leap off it, but you're going to get a power up out of the last one. And don't forget about these coins. They're not so far out of your way that it's impossible to go get them. And then you're done. You don't need to worry about going back. Oh, wait, what? I had full running speed. Is this because I got hit and it was going to start counting down automatic? Ah, whatever. Incidentally, the flower is the hardest card to get three of. It's like the most random thing. I can honestly not make heads or tails of it. All right, let's see if we can finally finish this board. Um, let's look for that 20. That's a flower. Wait, I already knew there was a flower there. I'm so dumb. Oh, flower, flower, flower. I think I've already looked up there too, though. Let's try it anyway. No, it's a one-up. That's right. You think I'd remember one of these times? All right, there's the one-up. Uh, twenty coin. This was the twenty coin. Yay, twenty coin. Oh, my goodness, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. I tells you. Um, star. Often a star down here. Okay, good. That was, I think, a 10 coin? That's 10 coin. <sighs> Here. Yes, that's right. So that means that this is a mushroom, which means this is the mushroom? All right, we clear the board. Nice. This means next time we will get ourselves a brand new board to play with, which is what I wanted because it sucks to leave two items as your last set, meaning you waste an end spade turn. And if I didn't say why those are appearing, every time you get 80,000 points and then clear a level, like multiples of 80,000, so 240 is what I, I cleared on the last level to make that happen, um, you get the end spades. So the next one will be at 320, for instance. Let's go to 2-5. 2-5 has the chain chomp. And I'm going to demonstrate something for you, and then I'm probably just going to die so I can do the level properly. But... If we wait for a certain amount of time with a chain chomp on screen, this will happen. 
wait, and turn them. We wait, 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 we wait. Oh my god, for jump, he just pulling, 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 pulling. Why much? He's hurt, hurt so much. By the abuse of Bowser. And that's of course, you believe. Super Mario RPG. It's the one that he shaves, and he changed up, so tower, and it works for him, and it's weapon, and he chose it, and the enemies doesn't seem so nice, but he jumped, because he seems to, and he suddenly died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're waiting, we're waiting. Ha, you can't get me. You're a jerk face. You have the face of a jerk. What did you change up? Nothing's gonna happen, because you are stuck to that block. You're all like, uh, 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 uh. You sound like a water boy, but you sound like change up. No one is scared of you. No one, except Shigeru Miyamoto. He made you, apparently, because of a do the dog's attacking him or biting him. Uh-oh, his chain's flashing. What does that mean? Oh, God. Oh, oh, he broke loose and got away. So it takes like 120 seconds to see that. How anyone actually knew that unless they were given the information, I have no idea. Now let's go try to do the whole level. It, sh it could be fun. And I say could be, probably not. Hey, I almost missed my leaf. That would have sucked. Let's just keep going here. You can just kind of motor on through. Nothing interesting here, really. Ha, <laughs> sucker. Killed that guy real good. I showed him... I showed him the power and the glory. Anyway, throw that turtle down there and you get yourself a pipe and you climb. And less mature people like me have always said it looks like Mario's hanging or climbing with a big old duty hanging out his bum there. Yes, I know. We are the mature uh, one percenters. That's for sure. But anyway, let's go down this pipe. Wait. Oh, I'm dumb. Ha! <laughs> I always forget that, that. That's actually what that is. Come on, get down out. Oh, I really don't have time to screw around because I'm about to get my warning. Whatever. I'm going to get some coins out of this if it kills me. I mean, I've, oh, I just stood on a coin. The reason for that is it's actually a um, power-up. And you can't collect a coin when it's a power-up or a one-up. So, there you go. Your lesson for the day. Come on. Give me my leaf. I need my point. I need my point. All right, and then let's just go to the exit. I think there's a chain shop here, so let's be careful. Oh, I tried for that a flower, but no dice. But he's luckily not too near the exit, so you're fine. So there you go. You now know, if you didn't know, that chain chops can break loose. Let's go back to Failureville, population end spade, or end spade, regular spade. Apparently this star is in, is, is in the mushroom gang, the polka dot gang, whatever you want to call it. Let's go destroy this guy. I almost got him. Wait, I didn't wait that time. That was dumb of me. Oh, well. I'm not too worried. Yay, a music box. What do music boxes do? Change the music on the world map. And they put um, Hammer Brothers to sleep. You may say, well, that's great and all, but did we just hear a Hammer Brothers shuffle of them moving? Or, Hammer, or the, the Hammer Brother family? But you killed the Hammer Brothers, Brian. That's true. I totally did. Except that there's a secret over here. There's a mushroom house, which always has the same item for you. And that is... A frog suit. This is the first of three suits in the game. The frog suit allows you to swim really well underwater and allows you to jump really high out of water. But you move so terribly it's not worth using outside of water. And these the Hammer Brothers are unique. This is the only wandering Hammer Brothers in the game that is made up of... Actually, let's just use a star. Made up of fiery brothers who spit fireballs. So screw them. I'm just going to use an invincible. And we came this way because they have the third and final warp whistle in the game. So now we have that useless item we're not going to use. Awesome. And something that somehow Round the Wheel didn't notice until a long time after he played this game many, 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 many times, that lake makes the Roman numeral three. Kind of a cute little thing they added to the game. So let's move on. And go do the pyramid. Hey, pyramid, how's it going? You were just rife with buzzy beetles. I guess the joke, not the joke, but I guess the reference they're going for is the, you know, scarab beetles. So buzzy beetles are a close approximation in the Mario universe. Now, if you don't have a raccoon tail to get through this chunk, you're going to have to use, um, you are going to have to use, let me think about this. You have to use the buzzy beetle shells to get through here. So you'd have to kill them and pick it up. Now, See right here, in newer versions of the game, you don't get this clue. You see those dots are slightly brighter than the rest of the background dots? That means they hide a coin. And that's how you get up to this pipe. Otherwise, you just have to assume that you uh, could... Uh... Alright, let's just do this. You'd have to just jump around and assume. 
Wait, why did I bust that top one? I was thinking I had to, uh... Oh crap, I really screwed this up. There's a one-up up top. I'm not gonna be able to get it. Nope, I'm dumb. Well, I might still be able to get it. We'll see. It's up here somewhere. I may not be able to jump high enough, though, from here. Yeah, okay, so that's fine. I screwed that up, but what else is new? Let's try to... Could we fly in here? Probably not. Ah, screw it. We don't need it. One-ups for sillies. Maybe we could reverse course and the bricks will be back? Bricks do seem to regenerate, from what I recall. So let's see if my stupidity can be helped here. And look at that, and the coins are e the coins are even back. Cool. Where's that one up? There we go. Nice. Because we need one ups. One ups are the devil's tool of devilness. All right. You get th there's even buzzy beetles on the roof here. I mean, how crazy how crazy of a world are we living in? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Almost lost my raccoon tail. That would have been uh. That would that would have not been the bee's knees, as you might say. So let's move on here. Hey, boomerang brother. I'm just going to fly right over the top of you. And dive bomb in for a mushroom. Hooray! And we are not even close to our next end spade. That's disappointing. All right. On to the castle. Meaning on to an airship. I really like how they incorporated the airship theme for this game, and it also gave Bowser a nice new uh, little weapon to use in his long, soon-to-come long list of weapons. Um, if we use the frog suit and beat the boss as the frog, we would get a different message from the king. However, I don't want to waste the frog suit trying to do that. That's just kind of a waste. Check it out. It's a spider. He's been transformed. Oh, no. Man, Toad is just losing it. Look at him. It looks like he's trying to... Actually, it kind of looks like he's trying to suck his own wiener. Look at that. He's, like, rifling his head downwards, and he's rifling his pelvis upwards. Like, I can do... Seriously. Dude, calm down. It's not worth it. If you're going to do it, just get a rib take, get ribs taken out. It'll be easier then. And then do a little bit of yoga. All right, what do we got here? We got... All right, we got Bullet Bill. We got... A screwed together airship. I don't know if this is really great air design. We have more cannons. At least these cannons look at least a little bit like cannons. Those other ones do not look like cannons, man. And we got more of the uh, bullet bill brigade here. So you see they're going with more of the direct side-to-side -side shooters than the uh, angled shooters, which probably makes more sense. Let's get ourselves fire flower. I know this area requires you to kind of go through this chunk and face some danger, but this is the easy way to do it. Now we're fine. Just don't fall off the ledge like I just tried to do. Alright, we're going to run into some rocky wrenches here in a minute. They like to pop out of the ground and throw wrenches. However, these ones are the type that will respawn. There's two types. There's the light colored ones, like these guys. Okay, I knew it. I knew as soon as I jumped you were going to fight. What? Screw you, game. The light colored ones will regenerate. The dark colored ones will not with like maybe one exception now this guy kind of does like skipping jumps unlike the first guy who did just kind of is there to donate his body but he's still not tough oh you know what people are like don't let it touch the ground that's sacrilegious you know what just for that guys i'm gonna let every single one touch the ground and you guys have to go mmm this airship floor is delicious okay that's just how it's gonna be i still love how he's falling down falling down as soon as he gets in here he's like this, this wand, it's very, very valuable. So I'm just going to spike it off the floor at 100 miles an hour. And I'm probably going to talk about this every single world because that has bothered me from the first time I beat the first world in the game. First time ever. Well, good. Princess, show up. I can stop on enemies using Karibo Shoe. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. How about you send me Karibo Shoe? And Karibo Shoe only appears in this game in one level and you can't remove it from that level. That thing on the right is a, I believe people call them Jujum's Cloud. I've always called them Jujum's Cloud, just because I didn't like the sound Jujum. But uh, Jujum would be Lakitu, so it's really Lakitu's Cloud, but the name didn't get changed or translated officially by Nintendo for some reason. Same as Karibo's Shoe, actually. Karibo's Shoe is really Goomba's Shoe, because it, it's equipped by a Goomba, and you have to steal it from him. Anyway, we'll get to all of these facts when the time comes.
And we are in world three with lots and lots to do. This is the first world that gets really long, man. This one really starts to test your patience. In fact, four is much shorter. Then five's crazy. Six is insanely long. And seven is just crazy again. Anyway, guys, we'll see you next time.